that's what I'm saying. Like when you're a child, you have the mother, you have the father, you have the older siblings to guide you. That is exactly how we work and, and Atlantis and all of these kind of places where we had spiritual beings closely. When Moses went to the bush and the bush spoke to him, it's like we, we, we needed that direct contact with these beings to guide us. We needed people to, to be able to go into the pyramids them and get knowledge directly from these higher beings so that they could... And those, and they could assignments, those assignments are specific. So okay. not everybody going to have that specific spiritual no, work. No, but there's the thing, some that will work and there are others of us who have but because of the way no, that you know you get out, you get a job, you do this, you trade, you know, the treadmill. Yeah. Really under nobody knows how to access their purpose anymore. Exactly. Nobody's time in their own meditation as a child, learning what do I like, what do I have an affinity for. Your parents are not encouraging you to be an individual because exactly. they're so your future, not understanding that your future that, is dependent on fulfilling your purpose and finding it, your purpose. It, you, you hit the nail on the head, nine because that's that's what I've been stressing to people lately. All right, in in previous times, um, we had a more of a, a tribal consciousness where even the show when I tell you may I watch, every person is a member of the tribe. You know, you're not really so much an individual. And that's the thing, we went through that period and then we went through a period where we needed religions, where everyone is a member of the religion. This religion is our connection to, to, the, to the deity, which is, you know, Jehovah, or it is Christ, or it is Muhammad, or it is Allah, or it is God, whatever. The, the, the religion is the, is the binding factor. But that's the thing. In the future, which we are just at the beginning stages of, we will truly be individuals where we're self-determined, where there's, there's, ne there's nothing necessarily outside of us that needs to direct us towards something. And because... Because it's where we're coming from. We have to go back to call life is a cycle. And yeah. we've been in that age, that age where we were closest to perfection. But as with everything, the cycles are important so that we don't, don't take anything for granted and so that we can have the fullest experience. That's so, it. Thing is not to say there is an error or there is something negative about the experience of knowing no. it is happening it is an opportunity to grow we're not here to be perfect we're here to have experiences and however it unfolds is how it's supposed to unfold oh, they have oh. a saying yeah they have a saying all is as it should be and that's a frightening thing to think about when you're going through adversity you know but what if adversity is your teacher? What if adversity is the very that's thing required to provide you with the tools you need to find your purpose? What that's another thing. What if as a child was curated just for just you? Just for you. Definitely. All right. So, so, all right. The thing is, right? We are here because of karma. Like karma is, is, is action and reaction. Cause and effect. The, for the benefit of the, 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 the people listening in, right? Sure. No. Here in, in this country, right? I am around a completely different language. I am not exposed to the English language unless I am watching, you know, something on the computer. Swahili is a much more ancient, much more beautiful, much more efficient language than the English language, right? And the way the, 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 way the brain works when you are speaking English language or when you are having to interpret things into English is different from the way the mind works when you are exposed to a more ancient language. And so a lot of the terms that we are choosing to use, like beings and spiritual and, you know, all of these terms, they, some of these words are only necessary because we are communicating in the English language, right? And so when we, the experience we have of other beings and entities, it's a different way that you would communicate it. So a lot of times we get caught up in the semantics and we end up in arguments with people when really and truly we mean the same thing, you know? Yeah. And there are certain that were metaphors that have become literal things because they were translated through Eurocentric ears. Yeah. And Eurocentric brains do not necessarily understand a holistic approach. Worse when now you're looking at the world from a more patriarchal, masculine vibration and nothing is wrong with the masculine but there are certain things that are not to be interpreted through that 
they have to be interpreted through the balance. And so while we are using these concepts and when you hear Kabaka using terms, you know what I mean? Some of them might be very triggering to people because again, this is the limitation of having to have this conversation in the English language, yeah? That so as we listen, we have to listen less with our brains and more with our hearts because things might resonate in your heart and your brain will literally tell you to resist it, yeah? So like I'll see some people in the comments here now and you know, because you're talking, you know, in a way that kind of fight out or it seems like it's fighting against the use of grabber and 24-7 smoking. You have people whose demons, for lack of a better word, are going to react negatively and make them feel like you are literally, you know, quarreling I with them. I, I thought I was talking too positively about grabber. Like, I'm going to encourage people to go about grabber. That's yeah. what I'm going to myself. Sure that, so moment you say anything that they don't like you know what i mean I will yeah, that, that's the art. That, no, no, no. That, people don't want that, to be that is disturbed something, that is something where i i starting to accept so no matter what you do and what you say and what your intention is people are gonna take it the wrong way like i made some posts the other day um you know i, I did it on youtube and i did it on facebook just for kind of see what the fans them are because as i mentioned to you i've been investing some money in some crypto projects and i feel like these things can be very lucrative for the community i must reach you know to say yo if, if the fans them would have been interested in hearing about certain some of these kind of things you know all right for me you know my music you know no capitalist never gonna be a slave i i take an approach where I feel like the economic imbalance in the world is one of the major issues where I feel to address. You know, and, and I feel like the whole thing with cryptocurrency, there's an aspect of it that's tied into the spiritual evolution of what we're dealing with, you know, where the decentralized aspect of it, where, you know, we're coming from a system where the banks control everything. You know, and, 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 and everything runs through them and them basically control how your whole economic and socioeconomic structure is developed. You now, with cryptocurrency, you find where you can be in control of your own finances. You can borrow and lend based on just your ability you to, to, to... Yeah, exactly. And, and there's, there's nobody telling you, say, you can do this or you can do or you have to apply for this and then them look at your social security number and all of them kind of and look at your tax um look at your tax record and look at your your credit score and all of them kind of thing it's like you are in control and the banks them will give you like 0.1 percent per year upon your money while them will take your money and invest it on the forex market and the stock market and all of these kind of things are making billions with it where you can be doing certain projects on crypto and you're getting 8% per day, you're getting 20% per day, you're getting 60 to 100% per year upon some type of projects. And I'm saying, like, why doesn't everybody know about this? Why doesn't and every youth in other ghetto know about this? And, like, yeah, right now. Life is a risk. Everything is a risk. Everything is a risk. Money. Everything. No, people know, but, but the point I was making, people are saying, oh, Rasta, rent a dread, Rasta, I, I talk about Babylon thing and all of them kind of thing. I mean, I say like, people, come on, man. Come on, like, you, I, I should, them say I should be talking about farming and all of these kind of things. Yeah, that well and good. I sing about that, I talk about that all the time. But at the end of the day, is everybody in a situation where them can farm and feed them families? Yeah. We, we should, we, we should well, get them. But if you can just have your money working for you, and you can go plant your food and do your thing and know say you can eat what you are grow, but you have your money working. You don't have to worry about that side of the thing there. You can be creative. You can paint if you want. You can do anything you want to do after that if your money are work for you. I'm like... What? Cool. It is cool. And a man that is afraid of a tool is a lazy man. A lazy he man. And like work on his... Oh, me done. Me feet, me, right. What I think, then go and learn how it can serve them. Right? Trust, and if you don't take and learn about the economy like when smartphones were just exist were just you know invented yeah I'm and people can't bother learn about that like all your granny all know some old people don't want to learn about certain things and they will never have access to even web 2 exactly yeah and so now our children are growing up they are completely exposed to certain things i was thinking the other day right 
it's like you seem like uh, you're gonna seem like an extremist now if you say I want to raise my children outside of the you know watching television and certain types of toys and whatever you know what I mean yeah. some or lifestyle or whatever I want to raise my youth in that kind of way and it's like whoa you're going to deprive the youth of this and you're going to do this. but the, 30 years ago those weren't even options and I like the result so what if I just move those things out of the way during the formative years to ensure that the youth don't have to be limited by exactly. other imaginations yeah what if I do that and then if at the same time I'm providing them with information about the tools that are going to be available then they now can create anything from those tools because they have not been you know seasoned with okay that's what that tool is for exactly so it's like a child who take to a musical instrument and create a brand new song because nobody taught them how to use the instrument yeah, yeah. right and that's how i feel about my entrance into the whole nft and crypto world i'm getting i'm learning how i'm learning the principles of these tools so like, sure. you know, decentralized autonomous organizations that I love that example, even within cryptocurrencies, I'm not really trading so much. My thing is more, I found one or two that I feel like these are the ones that I can get the most benefit out of. And I just buy them and hold them down, sure. right? Down, 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 down. And I'm just buying more of them. And I'm putting them yeah, down because I'm, I'm putting them down for five years. I'm not thinking <laughs> about them. As they are inevitabilities, right? But that's and the then, art. Oh, that's thing with art. What, a man said what? that it's fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a continent, and I want to find a way where I can connect with the world without having to travel because I don't really want to have to interact with the things that you have to interact with to travel these days, right? So how do I fulfill that part of my destiny? I have fulfilled one part. I am here. I have access to land in abundance at a very good rate. I have access to the farming techniques that I need, some of the best seeds, all of these things that I would want. How do I now share them with the world? Huh? Cryptocurrency and Web3 give me the opportunity to create a decentralized, autonomous organization, right? Where I can have people make the decision, do you want to be a part of this? Exactly, Let's those determine a value for it and a currency for it and it's tied to a real world thing if i buy a gold mine right if i buy if i if i get money and do these things i can there's complete transparency and there is an opportunity for people to know that they own a piece of something for real exactly. on a contract that space where you can't go around it right and all it requires is just a little bit of of research and understanding so that you can see the value of it and instead of looking at these things as possibilities you shut the whole thing down to me that is ignorance to me that is like right. that's that's selfishness you know because there's some brilliant people who just need to be unlocked into this space yeah. because of information but they would never do it because of whatever concept they have in their mind but at the same time they probably have very detrimental habits in their own personal life yeah. but they would outside the world that things to complain can you find the people who are complaining in life you know <laughs> are the people who are having an unhappy life yeah the people who want something to fight for i remember when i started noticing a lot of the the you know the expats that were coming the black americans coming like it's like they don't realize you reach tanzania you, you the fight is over you know you reach now so what you plan to do you're here yeah. and you want to form a group to complain. Right? So all of these complain groups, you come in the group to just vent and complain. But you're not there anymore. Like you literally aren't there anymore. Why are we even talking about that? What's the plan yeah, for a group? That's, that's my whole thing because we grow up with a culture of struggle. It's like we grow up facing difficulties, you know, with the, with the pressure from, you know, racism, from you know, the socioeconomic pressure of certain things. So it's like you just develop this antagonistic approach to everything. Everything is Every out there to hurt you. So it's like for and me... You, fight, you will create a fight. Yeah, exactly. And if, if we can create something where, you know, there is, there is economic welfare for everybody and people grow up with that. And, you, you know, you can just imagine how much people just do to growing up within certain situations. It just leads to a lifetime of that kind of mentality 
the only way to change it, that's why His Majesty was always about the balance of economic and spiritual growth and education and all of these things. Like, it has, you can't, you can't think about spirituality if if you don't have the right food to eat or if you don't have food to eat or, you know, if if, if you are worried about your bills them and all of them kind of thing. You can't get to a point where you're at peace. And there are people out there right now who, like, I'm in some of these groups, nine, with them people, yeah, and the type of questions that them ask. These are not intelligent people, you know. But these people are making a lot of money. <laughs> it's, it's just because they know what's happening. They know the contracts that, that are out there. And as you say, everything is transparent. You, you, you find out about a protocol that has so-and-so percent interest. You go and look at the contract. You go and see what, what... You can see every transaction. If somebody buys, if somebody sells, if somebody pump up, you can see everybody's transaction. You don't contract. <laughs> say that again? I say you think you can go to the bank and ask them, please show me your contracts and let me see how you're spending my money. Right? Nah. But yes. I'd rather yeah. go put it in the bank when fiat is about to die rather than taking personal responsibility. You'd rather say, oh, let somebody else do it and curse a man who is trying to do it himself. For sure. You're a and, and, and then you have people now, which I am a bit skeptical of as well, that will say, you know, is cryptocurrency them are going to use to control humanity and thing. And the thing is, them can't control what you have in your wallet or what you do with your thing but they can control the point of exchange so if if a certain if a certain place or store decides say yeah we're taking this currency or we're taking this currency through this method you have to you have to send it to this thing first before you can then yeah them can control that but them can't stop me and you building something and creating our own system within ourselves for ourselves they can't stop that is that is the punchline, brother. That is the punchline and the drum roll. Yeah? And it is that we need to use these tools now when they're in their infancy and create our own financial independence. We need yeah, to create our own... Gold mines. Gold mines, yeah. Our own, our, we need to create our own food sources. We need to create our own shipping methods. All of these things are the challenge. So before, so use your abilities, your intelligence to apply it with these new tools. So we're not telling you to go do what these guys are doing. We're telling you take the tool these guys are using and go do the work that you know you need to do. Yeah. Because a time is going to come when if you can't act coffee, no matter how much money you have stored up under your bed, you know, the day when that this when that done, that system done it done. <laughs> Don't mean nothing. That money is just what we all agree it means. Yeah. So let us make some other things mean some other things, right? For sure. You get me? For sure. There's what? no stopping. There's yeah. no stopping the crypto thing. Like the... it's nearly midnight here, right? Uh, you... yeah, there. Martial artist, I am carrying in my belly right now. So I am really, really grateful for this opportunity to share with you. Every time I get to share with Kabaka, it's always ours, potentially, because there is just so much that we don't get to say in other contexts, That's you know? Nice. So I've been able to share with my brother where we just, yeah, it's a much more free process to call because of a foundation of understanding, of overstanding, you know? Inner so stand. we give thanks. And inner standing. <laughs> <laughs> Enough love now. So, I'm, I'm in the what Discord. Is, what you know? Where you say, brother? Where, where you gonna? We no, that now. no, I'm saying I'm loving everything you're doing. I'm saying I'm in the Discord group and everything. So, you know, I, I, yeah, it's inspiring because I was just praying where they how more I set up my Discord group and and so may I get holy for inspiration from you. I say Kali Buds are doing a thing as well. And I like yeah. well, just keep it up. But you know, the tomorrow, if we can't find him, we we'll try to find Calibots because we want as well have a discussion like this with him as well. You know, so if anybody who know Calibots is reaching out, make him know so we're reaching out because we want to have a chat because he have an NFT project as well that is going on. And yeah, we know Discord is an inner problem. The only thing I'm discarded, the only thing that I would say about Discord is that that server itself is very intimidating. The conversations mm. and the my experience of the community that we build in there is beautiful because of the kind of energy that we attract. Nice. But, you know, the discard comes from 
having to do it online. <laughs> but to yeah. give thanks for that opportunity. So for everybody that is tuning in now, I have an NFT that is dropping on 420. If that whole NFT world is weird to you, go to Chalice Station. At Chalice Station, we break down how to get a wallet, how to deal with your thing, and how to get the NFT. Even if you don't have a wallet and you're not into crypto, you can literally be a part of the community or gift it to somebody using your credit card on OpenSea as well. So when you go to OpenSea, that is the marketplace that we're going to have the items for sale on. Medallions, these are not little faces. This is not a face thing. This is, a, this, is a, this is like a fist in the air saying, yeah, I have this badge. I'm wearing this. I'm taking care of myself. When you see that NFT in anybody's collection, you know that this person is taking personal responsibility for their wellness, even as they understand that material wealth is important. So this NFT is about balancing the material and the spiritual and physical. And we have programs lined up, wellness programs from people that are in my network that I know. Some people like, you know, Yes Baby, I Like It Raw and her 365 wellness app. And we have um, Power Plant Nutrition from the UK. Now, like Power Plant Nutrition is one of them people there who literally have some of the best products I've ever used. And I'm talking about over the past several years his formulas are exceptional, right? And he's one of those people who is not even really pushing it. Because, you know, you have them money. Who them not really have to push them thing. They don't even really advertise them thing. Word of mouth. How much they make, it are going to sell out. And I'm trying now to expose the people in this community to like some high quality products, some high quality experiences, as well as a totally custom glass chalice. P. I have created the device of my dreams. The perfect chalice, the perfect steam chalice. And it starts with the kochi. The way that the herb interact with the, the fire, you know, is, a, is an amazing thing. And I'm really excited to share that. We're finishing up the development of it now. Of course, I cannot blow glass. I've so I I found some really, I've had to go through some terrible glass blows to find the right guys who can do this work for me. <laughs> I tell you, man, some people too terrible. <laughs> we'll find them. And we're going to work on it so that by July, everybody has their glass steamers. And until then, we're getting some Steam Team Jamaica chalice. So everybody gets a free Steam, Steam Team Jamaica coconut chalice right away so we can start the breath work with it. And then, yeah, I just only for things. And continuing to add value every time we add new members and new networks to this community. So get the NFT. This is a wellness program. You're getting a whole heap of things for your money. And at the same time, you're becoming a part of the solution, you know? We're becoming a part of the balance. And this is especially for those people who already understand and appreciate the value of these, you know, these types of projects. But yeah. need that support to remember, go eat, go take care of yourself, no stretch like a bit, no? You know what I mean? We're trying to be that online friend for you. So tell a friend to tell a friend, go to a chalice station, learn about the project, Find out how you can get in on it. Go to OpenSea, check out the collection, and get ready to place your bids on Wednesday, 420. Yeah, 36 hours worth of vibes we are going to hold. And then, you see me, if you don't get it in the first 36 hours, the price are going to change because it's, it'll become a rare thing or we might just burn them and you can't get no more until July when it's the next drop or something. But, yeah. All these technical terms can be intimidating, but trust, it's just a process. And if there are people like I and I and your brother Kabaka who are in the space, then you know that it is possible to do something positive here. Cause we not mix up in a rare, we not mix up in a in a in a, in no, a no. Death. Why you for that? Why you yes. for that? <laughs> <laughs> so just keep it live, keep it up full. P, where are you now on your tour? They are Dallas. Dallas. Damn. Yeah, man. I chill out, chill out in Dallas for the Earth Strong and then we move to Houston and then Aston. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, never never to them did for Kalia. <laughs> so we're all sending lots of birthday love to P. We're so glad he was born. Big up P mother because since I've been pregnant, I've started to realize, you know, birthdays are all about your mother. And it's like I don't stop calling my mom and say, Mommy, big up yourself. Uh, every time I go through some Real drama, child turning or something, I'm like, Mommy, I appreciate you. I apologize for all of the crosses that I <laughs> might have caused in the past. Yeah. 
So big up your mother P today is her day. Yeah. However old do I know? That many years ago, she was in a state of distress, preparing. Yes. <laughs> but nine months before that, she was holding you dear to her, making sure she eat the right way, drink the right amount of water. Don't do what she must do. All of these things because you have to be so careful when you're bringing for the youth as much as you have to. You know what I mean? So big up all of the mother them when it's birthday time. Big up all of the woman them because only woman alone you'd come from. Woman, woman, womb bearers. Make we see the belly. The belly. Make we see the belly. Make we see the belly. No, I see the belly. Yeah, you're so sad the belly. We're going to take some picture. We're going to take some picture to come. Be belly Pan aware. Pan up and show the belly. <laughs> no, it's not a perfect time to do that. But we can start. Oh, that's soon. Sure, make sure you're not naked on the day. No, no, no. no oh, of course not. Of course not. Right? Not while we're on the No, but um, no, I see some comments. I'm clarifying. My, it's my earth strong in Tanzania now because it's past 12 o'clock. But on the, right. on the west side of the world, it's tomorrow. Oh, your birthday. It's almost your earth. It's almost. almost. But it's close enough because by now your mother did know that this is, this is about to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So big up your mother. Big up mommy. Hug her up for me. Definitely. Yeah. I'm blessed and of your mother. I will. I will. I will. And everybody, just keep loving yourself. And in loving yourself, that light will show. Take care of yourself. Self-love, self-governance, self-discipline. Yeah, manage yourself. And make sure you prepare and use them for the future. Stay out of their way. And that too, you know, you can't too, um, put too much upon the youth. You have to just kind of just make sure they might eat properly. And just stay out of their way. And let them teach you. And they will you know, show you. One, one thing I always I tell people too, like, People not to stress themselves about certain things because however you are and the way you live your life, that you are the person that the child chose to, to forward through. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just don't pressure yourself. Like, you're not going to be a perfect parent, but whatever the child is to experience is true karma. But always, you know, try and be the best you can for sure. That's a real, real chat, my brother, because, you know what I mean? As you go through this journey now, you realize... I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing my best, but who knows, you know? So it's like you really just have no, to surrender. You really just have to surrender. You know, like if if you is a if you is a soul out there and you are pre like who me I go forward to and you see like a Jana and all there, you know say it's a powerful one I go forward in a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you know, say certain things up on a level. You yeah. know, and they, you would have to discipline too because you know it's not an easy one either. You know, so. <laughs> but, yeah. No, but I expect greatness. I expect greatness. Yeah. You know, hopefully it's right. another musical yeah. warrior too. Where you know, step forward and a scientist or like you know Anything. Yeah, of course. You know. But we give thanks. We give thanks for the time, P, for sharing those moments before your earth strong. And bless up to everyone. And please check out our Charlie Station. Yeah, P, since you're reaching at the crypto thing, make sure you buy one of my NFT, them and tell your friend. Yo, you no need to load it. You no need to load the Ethereum network thing, the gas fees, them, man. You use this Avalanche or some of them other network, yeah, man. Change, and they're going to move to proof of stake now. So it's going to be a little less, you know? True. So. True. We yeah, but right now we just try to make it as accessible as possible. I bought out Ethereum. I trust me, it took me months before I found it. I was like, okay, fine, we'll just use Ethereum, right? And it's probably just for this first drop that we're going to use it. So we're just giving everybody a foot in the door. Remember, check mm -hmm. out the information. Go check out at Charlie Station. See if you like it. Tell a friend. I make we get this thing cracking. We could start this, build this community, and do some work, right? For the next three months. We're going to just dedicate some time to serving this community. Yeah? So you see me online more than only see me online for the past two years, you know, the past two weeks. So after 420, you know, not see me again so often, right? We're going to just keep it. Hiding. <laughs> yeah. But blessed love, everyone. 
Love, no? Love, 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 love. More, more beautiful Africa. Bless mm. upon yourself. P, take care upon the road, my brother. Respect. So when the album will come out? Ta forward this year. Ta forward this year. I'm sure there are going to be some amazing songs on it. I can't wait to hear the songs. Thank some you. of them more than others. Thank you for yeah. blessing me with some, you know, some creative input on the album. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell anybody. Shh. Not that. Okay, good job, good job. Blessed love, everybody. Respect. Hopeful. Aye, aye.